Hey, welcome to beautiful Boulder, Colorado. It's Running Form Friday. These videos are here to help you become a more efficient and natural runner. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact newtrunning.com. So for the last year, we have been making Running Form Friday videos teaching you how to run with better form, really emphasizing three key points, posture, position, and cadence. So the first thing we're going to talk about is posture. When you think about posture, we're humans. We have to balance on two feet. So when you're running, the more out of balance you are making wild moves with your body, the waste, that's wasted energy. And we want to run efficiently with good form by moving forward with the least amount of wasted energy. So you start with you know, nice posture where your hips are level, your shoulders are level, your head stays level, and you have a slight flex to your lower body, and that helps with shock absorbance. And one thing that really helps reinforce the posture constantly is thinking about having a line attached to the top of your head, pulling your spine upward. That keeps your core nice and straight and helps you utilize the lift from your core. So the next thing we're going to talk about is position. So position is this athletic position. Every sport that you do, you want to be in this athletic position. Knees slightly bent, ankles soft, standing nice and tall. This allows you to be able to be balanced when you're running. Quick steps, everything is balanced. Your feet are landing right underneath of your hips. All good position. So the third key is cadence. So why do people want you to have high cadence, or why do coaches want you to have high cadence, or at least higher cadence than what you have? Basically, when you have the posture and the athletic position, you can still run with a slower cadence, which is going to be a heavier impact and a more unbalanced landing. Now, if we simply hold the posture and the position and quicken the cadence, then you're much lighter impact and much more balance. So cadence really comes down to balance. So now if you take those three positions, posture, position, and cadence, and now let's see what that looks like and how we can easily take that forward into a safe, efficient run. So posture and position, flex knees, nice and tall, and now cadence. And now if you just think about taking it all forward, there you go. Again, all this whole year has been about re, you know, retooling your running form. And remember, be an efficient runner, and that just simply means less wild movements, more balanced movements, and allow yourself to just simply fall forward and balance. You're taking the brakes off. That's all we want you to do, and enjoy your run.